very warm welcome to the latest coverage in association with Virgin Active of GMB Panthers home games and this one's a big one this is the Midlands rivalry which is in the locker rooms even more intense than a visit by the Sheffield Steelers Coventry Blaze are the guests to the Capital FM arena tonight for Rapid Solicitors Elite League action let's get the legal stuff out of the way early doors please remember no part of this DVD recording can be copied or broadcast in any way shape or form it's covered by copyright law and no one would give you permission if you asked for it, so you'd be wasting your time. Net mining duties tonight, Hirsch for Coventry and K Wall for Nottingham, and both sides have debutants in the lineup. Peter Nylander, got a very famous brother, of course. He's Swedish, he's played at the top levels, he's played in Russia, he's played in the KHL, he's played in Norway, he's played in the Swedish elite, he's played at Augusta in the coast, he's played in Finland, and he started this year in the Czech Republic at Litvinov. He's making his debut for the Blaze. He's making a debut for Nottingham, wearing number 12 in the white shirt at GMB Panthers uniform, is Rhett Gordon. You may remember him from his Super League years at Ayr and Sheffield. Good player. Everyone remembers he was a good player. He's not quite match fit at the moment. Corey Nielsen says he's going to let him get his feet wet a little bit. Our officials are referee Maury Hansen. On the line, Messrs Perry and Dalgleish. And here comes the action at the Capital FM Arena. And Matt Francis forces a win on the draw and gets the first shot away. Pad save from Hirsch after just eight seconds. Crudge takes it down the right wing for Coventry on the rebound though. He slams the brakes on. He's looking for the cavalry to arrive. He's got it across. Long range shot tipped high. Surely there would have been a high stick call on that one for the high stick from Fussy. Coventry trying to get a first one. No goal says the referee. Light came on briefly. K Wall got his glove over it, and I could see from here, 150, 200 feet away, that the keeper got to that before it crossed the line. I've got x ray vision, I could see through Kowalski, and I know that did not entirely cross the line, and it was just an itchy trigger finger from the goal judge. Corey Nielsen is hoping speed tonight will be the key for his forwards attacking what he calls a light defence. They've let Dave Phillips go to make financial room for Nylander. He's gone to Denmark. And on defense, without Domi, who's injured, apparently needs a leg operation. Soderstrom, Soderstrom, sorry, Matt Soderstrom, longtime servant of the Blaze, is back out of retirement again. He plays on defense with Cowley, the Brit, Weaver, the Brit, and also on defense for them is their partway through the season signing, Dustin Wood, who played in Korea on a team with their Korean center. Number 36, if you're looking out for the number, Wu Sang Park. His namesake scored for Man U today, but was on a losing side, so I hope that's a good omen. Brandon Benedict, hustling in the corner with Beauregard. Benedict brings it to the front of the net, spins and turns, shoots, rebound, back of the net! And it's rammed on by Jordan Fox. Nottingham take the lead after 77 seconds. One minute and 17 seconds. And Jordan Fox rams it in after super work in the corner from David Alexandra Beauregard and Brandon Benedict. Panthers have yet to beat the Coventry Blaze in this building this year. They've lost twice to them by the odd goal. We've lost there by an odd goal as well and we've drawn there. Payback was the word from the coaching staff this week. It's payback time for the Coventry Blaze. So far, so good. 70 seconds gone. Goal ruled out for Coventry by referee Maury Hansen, who was Johnny on the spot. And despite protestations, wouldn't give Coventry the goal. And now he's definitely given one to Jordan Fox. And Panthers have the lead. Jordan Fox. Forty-four from twenty-six and nine called in the background. Gila Pin stepping up just to have a chat. It's Gila Pin at the face-off with Jurinic. Is it going to go? Yeah, here we go. 
Junic trying to get in early, but Gila Pim batters him, and I mean batters him, and then gets back to his feet to carry on battering him and gives him a spank. Jurinic asked for it, Jurinic got it, and Gila Pim is still trying to throw them, and so is Jurinic, and now the linesman have got in and finally separated it. That was a, an awkward and now oh, Jurinic is throwing an extra one afterwards. Be interesting to see how referee Mori Hansen calls this, but the judges' scorecard's not needed. It was a knockout win for Gila Pim. Willem Lepine hammers Jurinic for the second time in this building. Count the bumps, read the bumps on your head, Jurinic. Those bumps would be read by an expert and would translate as loser with a capital L. Jurinic trying to get something going, but Gilepin stepped up to the plate like a good policeman. Mori Hansen's building up to a big call here. Hopefully it's just five each for fighting. I don't think Jurinic landed much even after they'd been separated by the linesman and he threw the cheap one afterwards. Captain Danny Meyer skates away. He seems happy with the call. Although the gate's opening. So it's five for fighting to Jurinic. I think Gila Pin's got extra. He's got a two. Gila Pin got the instigator. Gila Pin stepped forward to deal with the challenge from Jurinic at the face-off. Clever work by the bench, though. David Alexander Beauregard, not a killer, a penalty killer. So he goes to serve the two minutes, and when he comes out of the box, there's a good person to try and get the puck to. And great work by Matthew Myers, one-handed, picks a pocket and gets the puck down the ice for Nottingham shorthanded. He tries to get it right across to Robert Lakovic. Robert Lakovic hangs onto it in the corner, goes one way, comes out the other side of it. Dustin Wood doesn't know which way his jock straps on. Can Panthers get it back to the D? Yes, they can. Beautiful play by Matthew Myers all the way back to Steve Lee. We saw a clinic on penalty kill from the Panthers a couple of matches ago. Beautiful pass. We've got a man at the back door. Oh, that's a bad call by Gordon Perry. No way did Lakovic cross over his legs and get offside. That was a bad, bad call. If he was offside, it was by an inch or two. And in the interest of entertainment, he should have let it go. Well, Coventry getting all the help you could wish for from the stripies at the moment. Two minutes gone exactly. Panthers lead by a goal to nil and a fight to nil, if truth be told. Nylander on the ice on the left wing on his debut for Coventry. I'm sure he's looking around this building wondering why his agent sent him to Coventry when he did actually have last week an option to come to Nottingham. He's Rhett Gordon. Rhett Gordon on his debut having a look round, sends it back, clever play. He's a seasoned pro, he's 35. I read somewhere this week, oh I don't know how much of an impact player he's going to be. Who said he was going to be an impact player? No one signed him as an impact player. Matt Francis skated away from it, saw the referee's arm up for high sticks and wanted the play to continue. 60 seconds gone of the power play. Nylander, soft one into the corner. Coventry trying to work it back to point to get it there. Weaver keeps it in just. Weaver and Owen looking to pull the trigger. It's back to Weaver. Can Weaver get it on target? Through traffic, good save by Kowalski. Sticks go down to stop. 36, Park trying to get some crumbs. And Panthers have four. Good interception by Steve Lee, stopped the, uh, the shot into the danger area. Giveaway by Coventry, Panthers try to use the boards to get it round and it does skip over Guthrie's stick. And Coventry have to regroup. This is Robert Farmer, Nottingham born. Poke check by Mark Levers. And Nottingham just seemed to have that little bit of edge, that little bit of sharpness, that little bit of getting to it first, a little bit of speed. 
Kowalski goes to the corner, uses the boards. He doesn't get it into safety. It's back with the blaze, but they don't get a shot on target with the keeper out of position. Wood, back door, got to be big save, big save. Get the highlight tape ready. Craig Kowalski made a huge glove save. Beauregard was wide open. Oh, he came back on, he came back on. Big slash behind the play by Farmer on David Clark. David Clark's not going to go, but someone... Th this is where we need a Brit who just says, I don't care. I don't care who you are. Brit, foreigner, import, whatever. Let's just have a tilt, see what happens. So we're skating even strength. We've had three minutes and 40 seconds. David Alexander Beauregard, rewind the DVD folks and watch it in slow motion. David brings his skates back to the blue line. Jordan Fox first shift since he scored the opening goal. Wins the draw, Brock Wilson, his cousin. Down the left wing, tipped by Beauregard. All the way down, Brandon Benedict hustles and bustles, gets there ahead of Cowley. Fox arrives to help, Beauregard arrives to help. Nice backhand from Beauregard, keeps possession. Brandon Benedict is hooked by Cowley, spins and turns away from him. Round the back, left by Beauregard, so Fox can pick it up. Oh, beautiful move! And it, interception was sorely needed, absolutely had to be there to stop a shot on target. Great hustle by Beauregard again. Danny Myers uses the boards, gets it to the corner, Beauregard lets it go, it skips past Matthew Myers though, Soda Stream backhands it but only as far as Wilson, he can't control it but Nottingham have it and it's played across to captain Danny Myers. Rick Gordon goes deep, gets the puck, oh nice little blind backhand pass but you know what I think about blind backhand passes, there should be a law against them. Now that's a good call for offside, Fussy was two yards offside, Nylander you're going to have to play a bit quicker than that. So far, we've only had a couple of shifts for each of the debutants. I'm quite happy with 12. Matthew Myers to take the draw with Nylander. Puck squirts back to Weaver. I don't think either player lost or won the draw there. Levers uses the boards, gets it round. Levers playing on defence as cover, emergency cover for Gila Pin. Puck's touched, so the icing whistle goes. Positionally, it's a good trade for the Coventry Blaze, isn't it, as we approach the five minute mark? Jurinek doesn't get to do much. He didn't do much in the fight, did he? And Panthers lose a key defenseman. But the Derby boy is covering well. Gets it across to Corey Nielsen. And astutely, Corey Nielsen, probably the best defenseman in the league, plays with uh, Mark Levers to give him help. He'll be encouraging him. There'll be lots of communication. Red Gordon throws a hit. I asked our Paul what he thought about Rhett Gordon, if he remembered him from his Super League days. He said, you don't forget a player who you know you've been in a shift with every time you're on the ice with him. And that's a good enough recommendation. And if he ends up busting a gut in the Beauregard Benedict mode, we'll be more than happy, won't we? Off the boards, Panthers have stolen it. David Clark tried to feed the soft one. Rhiannon taken down. Here's a whistle, incoming for Coventry, Panthers are going to the power play. Tripping's the call, Sammy Renan making a nuisance of himself. The Finns aren't supposed to like the Swedes, you know, they've got a history, haven't they? I mean a proper history. A history of war. <laughs> Never mind ice hockey war. And that was the anyway, sitting down is South Korea's player. Park, the one that uh, Coventry said he's the first Korean player to play in Britain. Then they had to change it to the Elite League because somebody reminded them about the one and only, the great, the Mr. Ice Hockey from Korea, Jimmy San Pak. Broken stick means Jordan Fox has to, well, it's a blade come out actually. Needs some stronger glue. Panthers trying to keep it in the zone. Blaze have got it out. Panthers coming back in numbers. Curl and drag, shot off target. Steve Lee deals with the man who was Guthrie. Now Panthers can bring it forward. He's the man with the stick handling skills, Jordan Fox. He's tripped up. 
no whistle coming in. Referee intercepts the puck instead. He'll be moaning. Murray Hansen moans about them. He thinks players pick him out on purpose. I think they did. I think he should get at least a game misconduct for that. Corey Nielsen sends it in low. Still debris on the ice. Matthew Meyer stretches to try and get to it, wins it. Can he backhand it back to this corner? Soderstrom goes down, tries to make a meal of it. Panthers get it to the corner eventually. Sammy Reenan gets it back to point. Corey Nielsen, nice little feather pass. Reenan has a look, gets it across to Nielsen. Nielsen back to Reenan. Reenan to the side of the net, but it's behind Beauregard. Another penalty coming in for Coventry. Panthers are going six skaters against four right now. Jordan Fox rejoins the play at the back door. Corey Nielsen, Patsy, back of the net. Matt Francis on the rebound, on the delayed uh, penalty coming up against Coventry. And at 7.06, Panthers have Coventry's number. Coventry have had Panthers' number this season, but not tonight, not so far. 7.06. Six gone. Matty Francis makes it GMB Panthers 2, Coventry Blaze 0. Park comes out of the box and the guy on the delayed call goes in. That's the way the rules are interpreted these days. Park will come out of the box for the power play goal to Nottingham. The delayed call will now be called and instead of 46 seconds against Park, the guy on the secondary penalty, the one that was the delay, which led to Panthers going with six skaters, he starts his penalty now for two minutes. Coventry arguing it, but that's been the way of it for the last couple of seasons. It's a big penalty too if it's Weaver who's got to serve it. He's querying it. You've got to read the rule book, Johnny. Weave sits now and it's another two-minute power play starting now. That's how the rules are interpreted these days. Didn't used to be that way. But it's the player who makes you short-handed whose penalty is cancelled if the other team score on the power play. Hirsch gets a little slap on the stick from Jordan Fox and it helps free the puck up and Panthers get it back to Steve Lee at point. He gives it to Benedict. Benedict backhands it past the referee to Jordan Fox. Jordan Fox turns away from Russ Cowley and then gets it out to David Clark. David Clark looking for a return pass. Gets it from Myers. Oh, that one skipped over a stick. But then the one-handed poke check wins it and Panthers try to set it up at point. But Danny Myers had drifted to the inside channel and wasn't in the right position to stop it getting out but Panthers still have 75 seconds of power play to go leading by three goals to nil. Corey Nielsen felt better than play the puck there in case he would have risked the too many men call Panthers are dominating aren't they Beauregard tries to stick handle his way to the front and stuff it in uses Matthew Myers to get the puck to Sammy Reen and gets it back Ah, this time Beauregard's pass to Myers is half intercepted, but Myers reacts first and goes to get it. Beauregard plays it round the boards and gets it to the quarterback, Finn. Matthew Myers has a luck. Hirsch comes out beyond the blue paint, cuts the angles down, and Panthers still have 40 seconds of PP power play to come. Eight twenty-seven gone. GMB Panthers two, Coventry Blades nil. Tonight's match in the Elite League is sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Think they're just about accounting? Think again. Wood fires it round and down the ice. Last kick of the cat on this power play. Ooh, three nil would be so good before the ten-minute mark, though, wouldn't it? Corey Nielsen to the logo, dishes it. David Clark uses the boards. Benedict takes his man to allow the puck to go to Stevie Lee and he finds it right around. Wood gets a piece of it, but it lands kindly for Clark. Clark into the corner. Read well by Jordan Fox, gets it to Nielsen. Nielsen's backhand wasn't strong enough though, and Cowley gets it down the ice. That'll see off the man disadvantage for Coventry. GB skipper John Weaver and Coventry skipper is about to rejoin the action. Stevie Lee skates coast to coast. Gives it back to Lakovic, the two youngest players on the side. 
Laco spins and turns. Nice magic from Rhett Gordon. Nice play. Gets it back to Lakovitz. His pass was just out of reach, but Lever stretches and gets it for Nottingham. Gives it to Lakovitz. Big hit from Wood. Levers gets him back. And then Wood turns away. Panthers getting under the Coventry Blaze skins, rattling them, upsetting them, making them irritated. Just like a good hockey team should. Goal scorer Matt Francis on the draw for the GMB Panthers. Coventry kind of win it, but great work by Clark. Wins the puck back. And Reenan tries to get it back to David Clark. Coventry's uh, attempt to get it down the ice at the third attempt, picked off by Danny Myers. Got a bit lucky with it. Panthers take it forward. Matthew Francis uses his stick handling skills, works his way across. Can he get the shot away? No. Has a look. Is there anything in front? Bad save. Sammy Reenan takes a two hander from Kradge. Well, neither of them. One's a Slovakian, one's a Finn. They're not scrappers. They're not going to do anything. Healthy body means healthy body. I do like the fact that when Sammy Reenan is two-handed or two-fisted, he gives one back. He's not, he's not going to drop the gloves and go for it. It's not his style. It's not his way. He's finished. Although I'd like to see him doing something with Nylander. Uh, speaking of Nylander, I'm just going to ask cameraman Steve. Have you noticed him much tonight? I saw him on the power play. He's probably on the phone to his uh, agent still. Oh, wasn't that clever by Benny? Teddy as they call him. Well, Ted. Through the middle, Coventry get in. Pad save, rebound. Double rebound, save. Panthers taking a penalty and it's played eventually by Levers. Good attempt by Coventry Blaze to break the deadlock at Kowalski's end, but he slammed the door shut once, twice, three times a goalie. 10-27 and it's a penalty against Mark Levers. They are Nottingham's award-winning Sage business partner. It wasn't the complete clinic when Panthers were on penalty kill earlier in this period, but it wasn't a million miles off that show we had a couple of games ago. Matthew Myers wins the draw, gets it back, Nielsen. Oh, wicked bounce, but that bounces kindly off the stanchion. And Matthew Myers gets to it first. I think Matthew Myers looks a bit sharper tonight. He looks a bit more keen and eager to get there. Winning the battles for the pucks. Every game's a cup game now for Nottingham if they're going to get anything out of the league title race. Lacko could have done with using the glove there, couldn't he? He's Nylander. Perhaps they're only using him on power play till he gets his fitness back. He's a fitness trainer. But there's a heck of a difference between pumping iron and playing ice hockey. Oh, another penalty coming up against the GMB Panthers. Whistle still hasn't gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. They've gone with the six gaiters because they've pulled the keeper. Panthers already on penalty kill duty, remember. Nylander through traffic, mile off target. The scouting report on Nylander says he's got a good release, but he's not a prolific scorer. Corey Nielsen plays it. 45 seconds of five on three. Good play by Nottingham to keep possession, keep the play going, not keep possession, because the more they played six on four, the longer, the less time there was going to be with just three players on the ice. So Coventry, I mentioned earlier, getting all the help they could wish for from the stripes. And Scottish referee Murray Hansen on only his second visit to Nottingham this season. He'll be getting a nosebleed. Right, Gordon, two for holding the stick. Coventry trying to tee it up. Five on three, remember. Switch back play. Weaver gets it to the side of the net. They come in, shoot off target. Wings around. That'll clear the blue line. 
20 seconds till Panthers get a man back. Pad saved by Kowalski to deny Wood. Squirts out to the right wing. It's back with Weaver. Commentary captain has a look. Can't get the shot away. Gives it to Guthrie. Through a forest, it's loose. Panthers can't get it over the blue line. They've got one man back though. Weaver ricochets and levers. Goes down. He wasn't tripped. He just lost an edge. He just tried to turn too quick to get down the ice. That's exactly the same play that was whistled down on Lakovic earlier in the period. Panthers trying to make a nuisance of themselves. They've still got a disadvantage in manpower, remember. Ricochet goes behind the goal line. Myers backhands it only as far as Cowley, but he can't get it. This time, Levers, again, he loses. He needs to get his edges sorted by equipment manager. Matt Francis has a look. Beautiful curl and drag. Works his way to the front and shoots on the short side. And Hirsch doesn't know he made the save. Nylander falls over all on his own. Coventry bring it forward, poke check by Stevie Lee. How many poke checks have we seen already this uh, period by Nottingham? 27 seconds of power play to go for Coventry. Panthers have killed the 45 second five on three and so far Touchwood they're doing a good job on the five on four. Coventry managed to stay on side but can't keep the puck. Brock Wilson gives it to Matthew Myers, three on three. Matthew Myers shoots and it just had to be on target. The ricochet comes all the way back, Steve Lee gets to it first. Coventry are offside, they can't play it. Panthers do across to Steve Lee. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Red Jordan is out of jail. Great kill, great kill by the GMB Nottingham Panthers. This will be icing against the Panthers. Chance to catch a breath. What a good kill by the GMB Nottingham Panthers. We've had nearly 14 minutes. Panthers lead by two. Coventry have had all the power plays, including a 45-second two-man advantage. But so far, Panthers defences, and in particular the best goalie in the league, Craig Killer, K. Wall Kowalski, has held firm. Sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. You don't need an abacus to add the score up right now. It's GMB Panthers 2, Coventry Blaze nil with 6 or 4 to go first period. Cowley keeps it in, uses the boards to get it across to Farmer. Oh, sorry, that's McLean, isn't it? This is McLean again, going for it, gets it. Kowalski's gone down, pucks loose, no one knows where it is. It's under the feet of people like Greg Owen. Misses his hit on Danny Myers. Greg Gordon takes the hit from Jurinek, but gets the puck to Fox. Fox, stick handles his away, there's three blue shirts around him, and it runs off his blade. And Soderstrom. Oh, that was a clever play. Played it off the boards to himself. Meant to do that. He put a little capsule in the back of his helmet and press his head down and it squirts in and it produces a, a, a fruit drink of any flavour you like. Well, the game plan so far is working for Nottingham. They've had to be on penalty kill duty far too much. Thanks to some pretty harsh calls. Reenan and Levers on the boards working for Nottingham and they've ended up with it. Reenan tries the feather backhand, can't get it across. There's lots of sticks going in there, stopping players getting good wood on the puck. Farmer shot, intercepted by Nielsen, but he lost his stick in the play. It's to the front, gloved down by Matthew Myers. Gets it forward. Sammy Reenan has a look. Clark's right wing. Myers has gone to the blue paint. It's with David Clark. Good attention paid to him by Guthrie to stop the shot. Panthers get it round the boards and Brock Wilson reacts quickest and gets there ahead of Crouch. Coventry get it out. Steve Lee can only chip it in. The players have to come out over the blue line on the floating offside rule. Good first period so far. Turned inside by Farmer to Park. Wu Sang Park. I wonder if all the sportsmen from Korea have got the same name. Oh, it hits a skate, doesn't it? Hit Owen skate. Matthew Myers goes to try and win it back. Lakovic has it backhand to the side of the net. It ricochets across the blue paint. Brett Gordon has a look, turns it behind, tries to go and get it himself, gets help from Lakovic, has the puck back off Lakovic. Brett Gordon protects the puck, tries to stick handle his way around. Danny Myers is right on the doorstep, hoping for a letter delivered. Didn't come, but Panthers have it with Steve Lee, and here is Danny Myers. Lobs one forward. It's going to be on Hirsch, so there's no icing whistle. Panthers changing the D at the back. 
Leavers still playing defence, remember, for Nottingham because of the 2 plus 10 penalty against Gielapin. I think Venus is getting his first shift for Coventry. It's through the middle. Leavers had him teed up and then didn't follow through. Shot from Venus. Easily dealt with, with Kowalski. Good shot, though, from the youngster. Falls over when he tried to hit uh, this man, Jordan Fox. Right to the front. Oh, Benny Stick. Teddy Stick just had to be on the ice. Beauregard works it deep. Back to Jordan Fox. Jordan Fox backhands it to Benedict. Reads the play. Weaver's with him, but Benedict has the puck. Chip low. Beauregard lets it go. Jordan Fox throws the hit. Coventry have the puck, but they haven't got control of it. Given away again. Brock Wilson across the back of the boards. Myers forward, tipped by Francis. It'll be icing when Wood touches it. There's the whistle. Play's coming back with 2.20 to go. First period sponsored by Solutions for Accounting in the Rapid Solicitors Elite League. To the right-hand side of Kowalski's net. Panthers leading by two goals to nil. Scored by Jordan Fox and Matt Francis. The goal time's coming in at 77 seconds. Fox from Benedict and Beauregard and Francis on the power play at 7.06. And in between times, we had a good little scrap in which uh, Guy Lepin was harshly penalised for starting it. Maybe he got the 2 plus 10 for not stopping, though, because he was the first one not to stop, if you see what I mean. And if the other one hasn't stopped, you can't blame Jurinic for having another go, but it didn't work. Francis forces the blocker save and goes and gets the rebound. He's left it behind the net. Sammy Reenan seals his man, but the puck's behind him and Wood gets it forward to Cratch. David Clark finishes his hit on him, though. He's freed the puck up eventually. Panthers have it. Francis tries the backhand pass. Sammy Reenan can't get to it. Nylander gets it to Wood. Cradge can't control it. It's almost as if they're playing with broken sticks. They can't seem to control the passes. It's gone into the crowd. Please keep your eye on the puck at all times and look out for the fantastic deals in the East Midlands via vouchermania.com. And we get our pucks from System V. Watch the Panthers shoot down the stars on Saturday, 7 o'clock. Tickets on sale. Also remember that 50-50 tour with Temple Britain is up to £450. Guthrie takes the draw with Matt Myers. Sorry, Matthew. In the heat of the moment, I forgot to give you the full Christian name. Oh, it's bounced kindly, and here is Matthew Myers. Back door, Bobby Lakovic. Didn't know where it was, her. She was looking left, he was looking right. You really do have to keep your eye on the puck at all times. Guthrie stretches in and hikes a shot off target. Park is levelled on the boards by Rhett Gordon. Finishes his hit. Nothing from the referee. Panthers hustle and bustle. Matthew Myers too strong for the Coventry Blaze player and keeps possession for Nottingham and goes chasing after it deep in enemy territory. Playing a real strong game tonight, Matthew Myers. Backhand from Lakovic finds Rhett Gordon in the corner. Manages to protect the puck, puts it into the corner. Matthew Myers goes to get it. Tries to come out the other side with it. Can't. Steals it. We'll take the whistle if we have to, but Lakovic will have the puck. Backhand inside to Gordon. Tight little triangle from them. Now they've opened up a little bit. Oh, the lift of the stick by Cowley just stopped Lakovic getting onto it. Coventry bank it down the ice, but Owen can't do anything with it. Farmer can't do anything with it. And Panthers have it with Danny Myers. And we're in the last 23 seconds of the first period. Benedict sends it in right the way round. Beauregard knows it's coming and gets it back across to Benedict behind the net. Can he feed the front? Danny Myers was jumping into the play. He couldn't get it to him, but he's still got possession. Last 10 seconds, Panthers going to need a shot soon. Squirted up and into the crowd. 7.3 seconds to go. We need a Dodie Wood face off now. Gielapin's finished his 10 minutes. On top of the two and the five. And he sent straight on to play defence with Corey Nielsen. To try and get the blast away. Jordan Fox. This is the plan. Jordan Fox wins the draw. Back to Nielsen. Across to Gielapin. Fires it into the back of the net. Seven seconds to make it a 3-0 scoreline. Jordan Fox, Nielsen. Ah, oh, the pass from the pass from the coach wasn't good enough for the play. 
read the book. Panthers still trying to force it in, though. There's the Huda. Good first period for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Dustin Wood trying to have a go at uh, Fishbowl. David Alexander Beauregard. Fantastic first period from the GMB Nottingham Panthers. 20 minutes gone. Sponsored by Rapid uh, in the Rapid Solicitors Elite League. Sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Add this one up. Paul Thompson, coach of the Blaze. GMB Panthers 2, Coventry Blaze nil. They've just given assists on Matt Francis' second goal, the power play to Corey Nielsen and Sammy Rienen, and Panthers outshot the Coventry Blaze 12-7 in that first period, which is an amazing statistic when you add up the penalty minutes and how much power play time the Coventry Blaze had to launch attacks on Kowalski's goal. Conversation going on between Blaze captain John Weaver and referee Maury Hansen. On a 2 0 scoreline to the Nottingham Panthers. The, um, you don't mind so much, but there were some bad calls. In there. And the lines, the uh, goal judge on our left as we look down at the action, the, the goal judge behind Coventry keeper Hirsch, he wants shooting for turning the light on. Picked off by Matt Francis, the scorer of that second goal. Now that's not holding, hooking or anything from Nylander, is it? Kowalski covers it up on the side of the net with a big lobster pot just to make sure there's no mistake. So some strange calls from the referee in the first period. Mick Newell, director of hockey at Nottinghamshire Cricket Club, joins me. Big Panthers fan. First things first, Mick, what on earth happened with the England team earlier today? I thought you said we weren't going to talk about that. No, you, you, asked we me not, you asked me not to talk about it, but there's no way somebody who is on the fringe of the England setup with the A-team and what have you is going to get away with that. Where were the boys today? Well, I think they've got a lot of work to do, batting against spin bowling, and it wasn't, you know, it was good spin bowling, but it wasn't the best spin bowling, but um, England, it was either block or slog, and, um, well, a horrible mess, really. Well, I wouldn't mind if it had all been slog, and they'd <laughs> been dancing down the track and trying to get it away. I mean, 150. And there was a very good point from, good save by Kowalski in the background to deny Nylander, at least we've seen him on the ice this period. Um, good point from Bob Willis, uh, we won't go on about cricket, but... Um, he said, why wasn't Broad moved up to, like, number three when Trot couldn't back and just let him pick up where he left off in the first innings? They didn't even get him out, 58 not out. Slog a bit yeah. and then take the pressure off. Well, that was all it needed was one partnership or one decent score, and I think 150 should have been a you know, very gettable total. So I'm not quite sure how England will react to this because it's, um, you know, it's a huge defeat when you're only chasing a low score like that. And one other final point from me personally, and I love sledging and working it. And I, I, I you know, I can't bat, can't ball. I was a lousy wicketkeeper. I should have played for England though as a specialist appealer. That flaming wicketkeeper yeah. from Pakistan, he needs a slap. You know what I found out today? He played club cricket in Nottingham two years ago. Really? Yeah, he did as well. <laughs> I didn't realise for a club called Notts Unity, and uh, in the local, it was in the Notts Premier League at the time, so the highest level of uh, of Saturday afternoon cricket going. So um, did they get rid of him because he was too noisy? Well, I think he might have learned some of his appealing techniques in Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you must have enjoyed the first period here tonight. Oh, terrific! You know, two great goals and uh, and a good fight as well, or a decent fight, which we seem to come out on the right side of everything. Jordan Fox pretended to give the puck away under McLean's challenge and still got it forward. During it gets it back to McLean though. McLean comes through across the logo, tries to set up the shot. Kowalski gets it, little bit of a rebound, and he immediately just sweeps the crumbs to the corner. Brock Wilson gets the puck out to the wing. Matthew Myers gets it down the wing. Brock Wilson goes over to have a chat with Jurinic. He's had a spank from Lapine. Brock Wilson's asking him if he wants one from him as well. Dustin Wood in a foot race. Brock Wilson wasn't going to play the puck. He was going to play Dustin Wood, who likes to play it tough with his weight. Especially against guys like this one, Lakovitz. Rhett Gordon can't stick handle his way through, but he's bounced kindly for Lakovitz. Lakovitz turns away, gives it back to point. Brock Wilson shoots off the leg pads, ricochets to Rhett Gordon. Rhett Gordon protects it from Weaver. Gets some help from uh, Matthew Myers, gets it across, but Lakovitz is robbed by 23 for the blaze, Owen Fussy, and he's taken it down the left wing. Inside, half a poke check to deny Nylander. Pass through to McLean, he can't do anything with it. Was that McLean? 
Yeah, Mike McLean, the 24-year-old from Quad City Mallards in the CHL last year. The only thing that surprises me, Michael, as a, a sports person, is that we've lost to this lot twice in this position this year. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, that first period, Panthers were so much better than them. It, that uh, does surprise me, but um, I suppose you play each other that many times, there's always going to be a chance you're going to get uh, tripped up on, a, on the odd occasion. And it was only just, wasn't it? And we started the season so well against them with the 10-1 hammering in the cup. And, of course, that just fires them up and what have you. But right now, we're not out of the league title race as it stands. But every game's a cup game, in effect, because we virtually have to win every one. Back of the net, Matthew Francis bags his second of the game. It comes at 23-11. And this one is as good as on its way to the history books as you can get. Great job by the Panthers. Little bit of Coventry pressure. Then we come down the ice. And where was Keeper Hirsch on that one? He was in no man's land. He left half a goal open. And Matthew Francis said, thank you very much. Back of the net. Panthers start the second period as they did the first. Big crowd pushing 5,000 in. And it's come to the party, folks. Come to the Panthers party. Come to the Saturday night Capital FM Arena party. When the Panthers are in town, there's only one place to be. Offside whistle against Comfrey. Gives us a chance to check out the chairman's seat, Steve and see the happy couple. So this is Steve there on the right, next to the guy with the moustache and the beard, and wife Maxine on the left. She's the die-hard Coventry fan, and he's the naughty man. He's talking to her. I don't think she's talking back, though. I don't think she's going to talk to him for about a week. After the 10-1 cup win, she didn't speak to him again until they won next time they came here. Is this up there with the Steelers now in terms of rivalry or not? Player for player, locker room to locker room, it's more intense. Is it? They just no. don't like each other. Right. Things were done and said and when they ran the goalkeeper last year and what have you, uh, and it was a deliberate tactic put up by the uh, coach. Right. Then the denials that he did it and everyone knew he had. Yeah. And what have you. And it's just, we just don't get on. Yeah. We don't like each other. You know, I don't like their manager, he doesn't like me. <laughs> Coaches don't like each other, players don't like each other. And I was saying first period when you weren't here that... Oh, Hirsch manages to make a save, leaves with there looking for crumbs. Gives the Coventry fans something to cheer. Nylander, their new guy, 76, was on our radar. We were trying to get him in. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not denying it, you know, we wanted him in for the trip last week to Belfast. But in the end, his agent put him into Coventry. I think he's been on the phone in the interval to his agent asking, what the heck have you done? <laughs> I'm very happy with Red Gordon so far, you know, he's not much fit, keeps fit, been having a bit of a skate, but not the full skate. Oh, Hirsch, ducks under it, in and out of the lobster pot. Well, of a fashion, Danny Myers gets it to Mark Levers, Mark Levers goes for the diagonal dump, Beauregard goes to get it, tries to tee it up. Jordan Fox nearly took it back off the stick of Jurinic. Jurinic can't even get it off the boards and down the uh, left wing. Lever stretches and gets a piece of it, but it bounces kindly. And it's brought forward for the commentary blaze by James Griffin on his first shift. Jordan Fox stick handles through, keeper covers up. Jordan Fox is playing well for us, Beauregard's playing well for us, Benedict's playing well for us, Rhett Gordon's doing well, Matthew Myers is having a good game, Corey Nielsen's steady at the back. And, Corey, and Kowalski at the back is... You're not doing man of the match tonight, I'm guessing, from that. No, no, I'll let the sponsors do that. I wouldn't like to pick. Right now, I would not like to pick. And if it was down to me, I'd probably give it to Guy Lepin. Yeah. <laughs> because at 1-0, they had to try and get something going. And they tried the old tactic, old school tactic. Nothing wrong with that. But it backfired, didn't it? Well, just don't winner, wasn't there? Yeah, and I just don't understand where the 2 plus 10 came in, because it was Jurinic who had the goal. We were checking on the DVD, and... That in the interval, and you know, Jurinic was the one trying to get something going at the face off. So Gila Pinges, as he's supposed to, took the place of the winger and um, did his job. So, you know, the instigation came from the first assault at the face off. Yeah. So does Trump. Whistle had gone for offside. Kaywall caught that and then thought, oh, we'll put it in just, so, just, just to remind Coventry what it's like to score in here. Just to remind them, that's twice. 
Yeah. Your box is further along there. You watched the first period. Did the, that first goal from Coventry? No. Did it I, I, bizarrely, I was sat with an ex-referee at the time, yeah. um, who I'd never met before, but he talked me through the whole of that first period, including the fight. Simon Kirkham. Simon Kirkham, and he said, no, definitely not a goal. Although the I, light went on, didn't it? That... Yeah, well, we're going to sack him. Yeah. <laughs> He, he's getting a warning when I see him after the game tonight. <laughs> no, he said definitely no goal. So that's fine. What did he say about the two plus ten? Well, he went. Um, he went. He disappeared at the interval. So I don't know. I haven't seen him since. So whether he went for a discussion about no, it. No, he does. He know. goes down and has a right. chat. Is with he them. an assessor? Is he sort of a kind of right, yeah, okay. on a sort of voluntary basis? Right. Well, he wasn't prepared to comment on that. Probably staying neutral, but. Um, we had some opinions, not that I knew really what I was talking about. Well, I'm going to take that as uh, confirmation we're right, because Simon Kirkham would have told you if the referee got the call right, yeah. as he did with the goal. Yeah. I could tell from here, with my X-ray vision, that that puck never crossed the line. Yeah. I could see through Hirsch and all the padding. 25 minutes gone now, Panthers leading by three goals to nil. Matthew Francis with two goals, doesn't win that draw, but he's got two goals and... He's going to be in the frame for man of the match as well, isn't he? Backhands it to Rean and Rean gets it across. Quick back and forth with Clark. Eventually Coventry whack at it and get it down the ice. Guy Lepin gives it across to Danny Myers. Danny Myers up the wings, tipped by David Clark. Oh, the linesman didn't notice the tip. We could see it from 250 feet away and they didn't. Do you think the fight will go again, Gary? Nah, he's, no, had a, he's had his spank. Right. You can, as I said afterwards, you, you know, you're going to get one of those bump, bump readers in to read the bumps on his head. Well, he's not a big lad, is he? I mean, he's game, give him his credit. You know, right. but his bumps are reading loser right now. He's not going to go again. Farmer's daft enough to have a go with someone. Right. I mean, Brock Wilson went over and challenged Jurinic at the start of this period, and he didn't really want to know. Right. Panthers get it forward. During it came back and read the play well for once. Wicked bounce off those stanchions. You see, when you got the seamless glasses we used to have, oh, you yeah. send it off high. It very rarely goes round. Gilepin's dropped the glove and he's grabbed Jurinic for the nasty little hit on Danny Mays from behind. Now this time, Jurinic doesn't want to know. He's been beaten up once already, but it was a nasty little hook and trip on Danny Mays behind the play. It deserved a spank, and Jurinic's gone for kneeing. Jurinic has gone for kneeing. It's a dreadful crime in ice hockey, kneeing. It's up there with kicking. It's cheap. It takes a knee out. It takes a guy out for the rest of the year if you're not careful. Luckily, Danny Mize is getting back to his feet. Hopefully, it's just shock and, you know, the, the like in the cricket when you, you get a hit with a ball on an elbow and it stings a lot at first, and then slowly that sting goes away and you start to think it's not that bad. But he's on at least a five and game for Nian. Hopefully a five and match, and then we won't see him tomorrow. Although I quite like seeing him getting beat up, so I'd like to see him in the second. <laughs> so he gets a match, but he can't play tomorrow either. Yeah, he gets right. an automatic three games for a match, even right. if they appeal it. Right. I, well, like you say, it was a cheap shot on another player, and uh, as Lapin does what he's supposed to do, takes care of him. It's all very well having a policeman and a heavyweight, an enforcer. Right. He has to be able to enforce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's not a big knight on that you know. score, has he? Yeah. I mean, there's no one up in the, the Barry Nykar division. Right. At the moment. I was talking to Rhett Gordon about it when he arrived in Nottingham. We were reminiscing about the likes of Barry Nykar and Dodie Wood and Dennis Vial and Mike Ware and, yeah. you know, some real heavy heavyweights, yeah. you know, that used to fight at, almost, well, NHL level and right. then ended up in our league when it was the Super League. Right, right. You know, and I was saying how... Nykar used to enjoy fighting so much his tongue used to loll out like a, a dog chasing a, a stick. Yeah, hey, I got it. You know, he's just a, uh, Come on, brilliant bloke. One brilliant. of my mates who regularly comes down and compares your fighters to having a really express fast bowler. So you've got somebody who can scare the opposition and keeps them down or keeps them out of the way, really. Yeah, I was having a daft conversation with our coach because I was telling him how cricket is far more violent than ice hockey and he doesn't, right. he doesn't get it, he doesn't understand right. well, it. I said, well, you've never down. played it, you know. <laughs> well, I am. I, we, we, well, I keep meaning to ring you up and I'm yeah. going to bring the boys down. We'll go yeah. in the nets one Every, day. Any time, yeah. And you can put the spin bowlers on. Well, we've There's got Sammy this, around. No, Sammy's in, uh, where's Sammy? Sri Lanka. But we've got this machine now that can bowl like Sammy. Okay. And a, well, it's a lot less, obviously, and it's a lot cheaper to look after. Well, you can put some of the juniors on, the, the junior spin bowlers. Yeah, any time. Well, I'm Bergen came down, didn't he? Two for roughing against Jurinek. Five and game for Nian. 
So he'll be there tomorrow night. We know what's going to happen first shift tomorrow night now in Coventry. Gila Pin's got two minutes for roughing, I think. I'm confused on the board. All right, the two minutes for the roughing is cancelled out by one of the two minutes. So two minutes of Gila Pins goes on the box. The five from Junic goes on the box. So we will skate four on four for two minutes. And then Panthers will be on a power play for three minutes. This is Elite League game sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Nottingham's award winning seat. But he just doesn't get it, the coach. He doesn't understand about it. That ball is made of cork and leather and it's got stitches on it to cut you. And when it comes in hard, you know, we had a great conversation. Uh, me and my son Paul, yeah. we were doing the commentary and Stuart came down on uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas Tuesday. Yeah. We're talking to him and he, you know, Paul loved that insight that Stuart was saying, yeah, you got to get stuck in and it's your job to rough up. Yeah. And he used the phrase rough up and intimidate everything from five, six onwards. Oh, definitely. But especially I mean, the top bat, but the top yeah. batsmen, they're used to it. They can deal with it, yeah, that's right. You know, but the, the, the lower order, you're supposed to rough them up, aren't yeah. you? Well, you, you make them fear for getting hit and then they'll, they'll do something daft when they play their shots you know they'll, they'll try and slog it because they're fear of getting hit so well, england were fearful today well <laughs> england were fearful of spin sadly which is a bit uh, it's a bit pathetic really but uh, you know certainly slow bowling is what's done for england although england bowled and, and have bowled in both two matches really really well they've just batted quite appallingly uh, a bit of a giveaway from corey nielsen tried to be a bit cute he had a really good pass to benedict and benedict hadn't seen it earlier in the play Mark Levers throws the hip check and it's allowed the pole. Oh, Blackovitz with a backhand pass straight to Cowley, but it's hit a leg. The lob for Benedict, he tries to take it down. It was a cute idea. Whistle down for ice. Twenty-seven eleven gone. 63 seconds of four on four. Then Panthers got the power play. They lead by three goals to nil. Jordan Fox in the first. Matt Francis on the power play in the first. And Matt Francis with a beautiful finish when Hirsch just drifted into. I don't know. You work on your angles as a goalkeeper, and he didn't quite get that one right. He, he left the gate open, as they would say in cricket. We'll let you go in a minute, Michael, but Sorry. I'm going to pick your brains first. Um, Nottinghamshire, you've signed a couple of players, haven't you? Yep. James Foster. Uh, James Taylor and James Taylor, uh, Michael it, yeah. Lum, two batters, to replace Mark Warren Eister Brown, who've retired. So, um, yeah, just uh, got one, one position to fill for us for the season, which is our overseas player. So, um, just looking into that in a moment. Hopefully, David Hussey from Australia will be with us at some point. Oh! Was that Farmer in the bar? Corey Niels, uh, Kowalski's lost his stick. Oh. Panthers come down the other end. I was watching Levis trying to get the puck. Great work by Beauregard. Does he work? Does he work? I heard, I heard a tale that one of the fans after we signed Rhett Gordon said, 35 years old, what good's he going to be in this league? And someone wrote back on the, one of these daft forums and what have you. They said, well... Who, who at 35 can contribute at this league? And someone wrote back, Beauregard, Nielsen. Yeah. Panthers on the power play now. Rhett Gordon's out of the jail where he was serving the two minutes. Rebound, it's up a trouser leg. Rhett Gordon trying to score on his uh, debut. He tries to side foot it across to Lakovic. Farmer gets on to Lakovic. Gordon Bennett, you pick your spots, son. Uh, the fans in the next uh, box are upset with Maury Hansen. <laughs> David Beauregard stepped in to protect Lakovic. Same guy in the box next door in the first period was screaming, too many men against Coventry, Hansen, can't you count, can't you count? They pulled the keeper, we were on a delayed uh, penalty for 40 <laughs> seconds. I might have to go back and talk to my referee and assess him, mate, then, Gary, I think. Yeah, okay. Learn a bit more about the so, game. So, like, like insight, where, yeah. where, you, you, if Hussey doesn't come, where are you uh, looking for the possibly overseas? Possibly Adam Voges, who's been with us before in the last two or three years. A mm -hmm. um, number of players who are available second half of the season once the uh, Indian Premier League's done. So, um, you know, just got to find one overseas player. Unlike you, have got to find, what, 10 or 11. Ten, I've only right. got to find one, so, uh, but I'm, that's proving difficult enough at the moment. Well, we've got 12 at the moment 12. because uh, Arima's injured. Right, yeah. He's down there watching the game. Game. Still not feeling right. And um, it was Jaw, was it? 
jaw? Yeah, he got, well, his nose was broken and right. knocked out of place. And it's, he's got concussion type symptoms. Right. We don't want to say any more than that because right. yeah. concussion's a nasty word in yeah. hockey. Yeah. And he's had one already this year. Right. It's four on four, remember, because Beauregard uh, joined the Coventry Blaze player serving the five minutes, like the end of the five minutes for Jury Neck. Panthers get it forward nicely. Steve Lee shoots. Oh, oh it ricocheted off a stick and deflected through. And Nielsen brings it out. Bit of footwork. Steve Lee on target, stick saved by Hirsch. Matt Francis takes the hit and wins the puck, brings it out the corner, plays it off the back of the net, went for his own rebound and then threw a really vicious, nice, I liked it, cross check on Greg Owen. Fans getting into it, big crowd in again, Michael. Oh, it's terrific, I love that, you know, you get great crowds down here and it's fantastic and a lot of the people who come here are the same people who come to the cricket, so it's, um, you know, fantastic. They see you have a good season, hopefully they come and join us afterwards. I was down at your barn a couple of weeks ago on a secret mission mm -hmm. and I noticed they'd taken all the advertising hoardings down except ours. Oh, good. <laughs> and when I asked someone about it, the guy said, well, we do still have conferences and odd events down here yeah. and you're still playing. Yeah, so we left it true. up and I thought that was brilliant. Uh, if we do come down for training, I'll bring a camera because I'd love to get a picture of, you know, an empty Trent Bridge with yeah. just our sign off. Oh, that's brilliant. In the far eh, corner. <laughs> Francis looking for his hat-trick, hits a leg, goes to the corner. Corey Nielsen talked about them being light on defence and they really have been light at the back, haven't they? Panthers getting it to the front, Sammy Reunan, gloved by Soda Stream, falls kindly. They get it down the ice off the boards and Nylander, soft backhand shot, soft backhand shot on the rebound and Panthers bring it forward, Borigard, three on one, Panthers spread out boys, here we go, here we go. Oh. Rhett Gordon with a shot, saved, gets it back on the rebound to point. Matthew Mize lets it go through to Beauregard, Beauregard chips it to the corner, Matthew didn't read that one well. And they get it forward through McLean. Guthrie brings it in, they're on side, he gets it out to the far wing but McLean can't reach it, uses the boards to get it back to Guthrie. Runs into Matthew Myers and Rhett Gordon brings it forward for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. He's hooked though, to win possession. So you're enjoying the game, I want you to go back and have a word with that referee and supervisor and see what he's got to say. Always good to see you, Michael. Um, I'm sure we'll talk to you before the end of the ice hockey season, which is a long time before the cricket season starts. And I hope next time we talk to you, England have had a better day. Thanks, Gary. Good to see you again, mate. And uh, bring the boys down anytime you can fit in. I will. I will. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to bowl at no, Corey. So you Nielsen. bowl at Corey. <laughs> I am. Don't worry. They won't be very good. Some of them will be off target, but I'll get him. I promise I'll get him. Mick Newell, director of hockey at Nottinghamshire uh, County Cricket Club. It is nice, you know, uh, Trent Bridge, with a nice icing frosting on the grass right across. I walk right across the middle, and the only advertising hoarding up in the whole arena was our advertising board. Players have got a man back. Guthrie goes into the box, so Panthers keep on the power play. It was only a short five on three, it was hardly worth a mention, that's why I didn't mention it. Jordan Fox stick handles around three, gets it to Lapine, Lapine across, it's ricocheted off the far boards and Steve Lee has to bring it out. Greg Owen makes a nuisance of himself, Steve Lee sends it in, that'll be icing against the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Panthers' third goal was assisted by Sammy Reunan and Steve Lee. That's Reunan's second assist of the night. Rapid Solicitors Elite League action. GMB Panthers 3, Coventry Blaze Nil, sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Add that one up, Tomo. I don't think we've seen Matt Myers again though, have we, since he went off after he was need. Jordan Fox keeps the puck going. Gets it back, across the back of the net, Benedict back to Fox, Fox to Benedict. Clark's in the middle, Panthers on the power play, remember. Lapine shot, blocker save, comes out to Steve Lee, sends it deep. Benedict takes it down, Teddy gets it to uh, Clarky. Ness. His Clarkness. Beauregard sits down, nice little play, gets away with it, protects the puck on his backside, out the front, 
David Clark, signature goal from the FM Sudafix logo, back of the net, Panthers 4, Coventry Blaze nil. Nylander gets off the ice, asks for his mobile phone, he's going to be ringing that agent again and again and again. Good finish, that's what we pay Clarkie money to do, put the puck in the back of the net. There's not going to be a lot of chatter in Steve the cross-dressing butcher's household tonight, is there? the time of the goal Peter Hirsch it's behind you goal for the Panthers 26th of the season for number 5 David David Clark 26th goal of the season Panthers have passed the 900 goal mark officially tonight off the keeper off the uh, defenseman behind the keeper clever play I think that was Rhett Gordon, wasn't it, who saw that the defenceman was in the wrong position and slid it into the blue paint and it ricocheted in. I'm sure that's going to be a Rhett Gordon goal. I'll have to wait for the official announcement. I was still excited from Panthers' fourth goal. Now they've made it five and Paul Thompson's taken his time out. Nylander's on his feet, listening to the coach, or he's asking for that phone again. It went in off Russ Cowley, but there's no such thing as an own goal, and Rick Gordon gets a goal in the goals column on his debut for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. So the fourth goal was power play, Benedict and Fox with the assist, 32-30, and the fifth goal was even strength, credited to Red Gordon, there won't be an assist on that one, because he cleverly, deliberately, absolutely deliberately, played it off Russ Cowley behind Hirsch. I guess Hirsch won't be making the obscene gestures to our fans after this one, Steve. I said I guess Hirsch won't be making obscene gestures to the Nottingham fans after this one. Guthrie versus Myers on the face-off. Guthrie wins the draw. Brock Wilson cleverly uses the boards. There's nothing wrong with that. Chip the boards. Panthers have got three. Three on three. Nice play by Matthew Myers. And even cleverer, even more clever. Is there such a word as cleverer? Even if there isn't a word, I'm going to use it. An even cleverer play by Corey Nielsen to get it back to the front. Oh, Maury Hansen still calling the scoreboard. Matthew Myers gets the penalty and laps. The gentleman in the next box, as they get more and more, um, what's the polite word for it? Lubricated. <laughs> Getting more and more incensed by every call. Six forty-three to go. Second period. Matthew Myers sits for two minutes in jail. He's on the naughty step. Nylander's thrown out of the face-off circle. They put a press release out, you know, commentary midweek about how fit the guy was. He's a person, you know, fitness trainer and what have you. Big save at the back door to deny Park by Kowalski. Gielapin backhands it, but only as far as Owen. Danny Myers back on the ice on penalty kill duty. Seems to be moving okay. Back door. Oh, dreadful shot from McLean. Matthew Francis getting a penalty, so it's 94 seconds now of five on three power.
draw. Corey Nielsen sidesteps, goes wide, sends it softly to the far end. Oh, Mark Francis has played it straight over the glass. It was a delay of the game against him. Ref can't help but call that one. There's no jurisdiction on it, you know. Wood can't keep it in. Never mentioned he played in Korea with uh, Wu Sang Park. Jordan Fox with better basketball skills. Although Cradge did get it to Weaver, now it's with Wood. Side of the net, back door. Don't get the shot away, Cradge. Oh, it's Farmer, wasn't it, right in front? Cradge misses with a big slap on Myers. And draws, and Corey Nielsen's gone as well. Or, or as Nielsen got the only call there. Kraj attempted the big whack in retaliation, which the referee saw. Mori Hansen has now extended the five on four. In 40 seconds time, we get Matthew Myers out of jail. In 66 seconds time, we don't get Matt Francis out of jail because Corey Nielsen will still be serving another 120. So the five on three has just been extended instead of 40 more seconds of it to 66 seconds of it. I mean, fair play, Corey Nielsen, you know, it was a slash. But so was Cradge's retaliation. Weaver tries the soft shot, doesn't work. Well, that was off the back of Owen Fussy's uh, heel and cleared down the ice by Panthers. Ten seconds till one penalty finishes. Weaver keeps it in. They're a bit at sixes and sevens, aren't they? They had to stick handle past Wood. Kowalski down on his knees, puts the lobster pot up and McLean fires it straight into the glove. Right, Matthew Meyer's penalty has finished, but we've still got 22 seconds on Matt Francis's penalty and 155 on Corey Nielsen's. So Panthers still only have three players, but because Myers is out of jail, he's sent on to take the draw and try and win it for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Of a fashion, he gets to it. Linesman Scott Dalgleish takes a tumble. Panthers hustling and bustling, and Matthew Myers protects the puck, and he plays strong, and he backhands it down the ice, and he gets past one, two, three sky blue shirted Coventry Blaze players. Five seconds till Panthers get Matt Francis out on there to join the penalty kill unit. And the Panthers are back to four men. A second massive five on three. Power play to the Coventry Blaze goes begging. Skips round a stick. McLean. You know what? This isn't the players though. This is a coaching aspect of it, isn't it? Nylander. New recruit. Must be wondering what he's got himself into. Deflected shot off the back as Park goes upstairs. It's got to come outside. Park was asking for the face-off inside. Mori Hansen, even he couldn't miss that one. Face-off goes outside. 68 seconds of five on four to kill for Nottingham. Going up next Saturday at the Capital FM Arena, we've got the Dudley Stars in town at 7 o'clock face-off. Tickets on sale in the next interval. Three fifty to go, second period. Sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Some things of this game do not add up. They're also our home penalty box sponsor, of course. Yeah, Danny Myers is moving all right. Bit of ice on that. Oh, of a fashion, he's got it forward. Benedict has a look. Beauregard, he's got help coming. Back door. Brock Wilson trying to get there. Shot rebound doesn't come Brock Wilson's way, but he hustles and bustles and wins it in the corner. But it bounces over Beauregard's uh, stick. Killed a few seconds of the penalty kill, though. Cradge projects, protects the puck, gets it back to Farmer. Glove saved by Kowalski. Another brick in the wall. All right, the Moranometer on man of the match is now tilted towards Kowalski. 
because the, the skaters have done well, but he's done phenomenal at the back, hasn't he, on penalty kill. And that's the first time I've heard a, a big chant from the fans like that of a player's name in a long time here. Owen takes the draw. Weaver's shot, soft, deflected, saved by Kowalski, has a look to see what's coming in. They're not even getting in intenses after. Six foot three, that South Korean, you know. I remember once being away with the Great Britain senior team. And there were uh, four players, obviously with different numbers on the backs, playing for China, called Sun, S-U-N. And one of them was six foot eight. I kid you not, a Chinese hockey player, six foot eight, number four Sun, as we called him. I'm not saying he was the fourth child of anybody, he was just number four Sun. And Panthers have got the man back, back door. Just a little bit air under it, and it just flirted over the blade of David Clark, system V, shaft and blade. Park takes it in. Stick handles, but Stevie Lee does enough. Nielsen puts air under it, gets it right across. East to west, Clark can't get to it, Weaver has it. Panthers changing on the fly though, fresh legs coming out as we approach two minutes to go in the second period. Panthers leading by five goals to nil. Was the kneeing on the DVD, Steve? Did you capture it? It was way behind the play, wasn't it? It was a real cheap shot, proper cheap shot. Ross Venus tries to skate through Brock Wilson. Matthew Myers gets it across. Danny Myers leaves it. Brett uh, Gordon takes a hit, gives a shot back on Ross Venus. Well, you got if you. That's okay, son. If you're going to wear a mask and hit someone late with a cross check, that's okay if that's the way you want to play it. But you have to expect to get it back as well. Matthew Myers falling all over the place. I'm not so sure about the edges on the skates tonight. Brock Wilson has a luck. Sends it right down the ice. That'll be icing. Well. Soda Stream did not play it. Nielsen got to it. And, and Nielsen saying, didn't play it. He didn't play it. He's just said it three times to the referee. He didn't play it, so why was there a whistle? Should be 6 0. Let's not get greedy. We're not at the end of the second period and we're up to nearly £700 on the 50-50. And a lot of people wait till late. They think they have more chance there. It makes no odds whatsoever, but people have their own ways. Benedict uses the boards. It was behind Jordan Fox. Last minute to play in the second period, the final minute. Seconds to go now. We're in the last minute. Benedict does enough. Nielsen flicks it down the ice and then gets his eye on Craig to see if there's any cheap shots coming in. Nothing. Griffin, oh, he tried to, the youngster tried to stick handle his way out of defence. This is a coaching problem. Jordan Fox misses the target or it would have been six. 30 seconds to go on the period. Well, it's turning into a clinic, isn't it? There's only one team in it. There's only one team on the ice. Wood takes it forward, offside. Pad save, rebound, right in front. Panthers get lucky, but bring it forward. Three on two. 12 seconds to go. Jordan Fox, backhand, Steve Lee, back door. Oh, it just rolled off Beauregard's tape. Don't bother with the icing whistle. There's the hooter. Solid period. Panthers win the period by three goals to nil. And after 40 minutes, with Durinic thrown out for kneeing, Panthers now lead the game against the Coventry Blaze by five goals to nil with 20 minutes to go. Stay with us, folks.
The shots on goal tally has evened up 21-21. It will do when you get like hours of power play. Well, I know it wasn't hours, but the five on three. But uh, I was just talking to Ian, the boss from uh, Solutions for Accounting, and he was saying he thought the tide had swung Kowalski's way. He's been watching ice hockey for quite a while. And uh, if he is to keep a clean sheet, I will be surprised if Ian doesn't give the Solutions for Accounting Arco Man of the Match award to the keeper. Oh, they've taken the goal off Rhett Gordon. And giving it to Matt Mai. Well, if they're giving it to Matt Mai, there must be an assist to Rhett Gordon. Don't understand that. Well, that's a that's a mystery, isn't it, Steve? Watch it in slow mo on the DVD, and that'll be explained. Solutions for accounting. Oh, there's a guy just come in on Raw G with a, a baby who's a few weeks old in his arms. Honest, I just think that's so dangerous. Baby's about a foot long, if that. And he's got her on a shoulder. And he's in Raw G in Death Alley. Here he goes, in block five, it's Oliver. Put your hands Here goes Ollie below us. Uh, if, the ref, if the linesman drops the puck too quick, we won't get to his favourite bit. There he goes. And they've dropped the puck. We could have all had a couple of minutes rest there and watched him, couldn't we? Panthers have no need to entertain anybody third period now. They've had more than enough uh, entertainment. Bit of hooking and strength going on and Panthers win the tug of war. Beauregard lets it run because he's dealing with the wood and he knows Benedict is going to come over. We looked at this lineup before and we thought, Corey Nielsen's dead right. The, the Blazers are a little light on defence. They've gambled, as Paul Thompson said, on bringing Nylander in and letting Dave Phillips go. Well, the Dave Phillips experiment wasn't working. Oh, that's gone straight into the crowd. Is everybody OK? All times with and system There's a bloke rubbing his ear, but I don't know if he's doing it for fun. Yeah, he's all right. Hit him in the head. Missed his brain by three feet. Joking. It was deflected, so there was no penalty on the play. Marcus Maynard getting shifts. So you know, so you know how confident Panthers are. Penalty coming up against the Panthers. Panthers Corey Nielsen for elbows. Corey Nielsen just can't believe where Murray has it. Do you know this is only his second visit to Nottingham and I hope it's his last? Honestly, he's making Tom Darnell look pretty good tonight, isn't he? Panthers, guess what? They're on the penalty kill. All right, his new sign in Nylander. Brock Wilson virtually takes the puck off him. Panthers come back in numbers, but the puck's gone deep. Here he is, the debut boy. Spins and turns away from Matthew Myers, gets the puck across, deflected shot, goes to the corner. Rhett Gordon's hurt, but he's got back to his feet. Shot from Weaver, hits the back of McLean. They've kept it in the zone though. Back door, Nylander has to stretch, couldn't get the legs going, couldn't get to it. He's rubbed out on the boards by Wilson. Backhand shot. Goes right through the blue paint and out the other side. Nylander just takes an eternity on it. Wilson backhands it. Off the boards and down the ice, signals with his stick, I need uh, replacing. Levers playing at the back on penalty kill with Guy Lepin. Mark Levers nearly read that right but didn't, but then got his stick in to intercept the centering pass. That shot's a mile off target from Coventry. I don't want to jinx this, but 
isn't Paul Thompson, the coach, who's on record as saying he spends 80% of training time practicing the power play? Guthrie. Blue line. Shot is deflected, could have gone anywhere. Wood wants it back on the blue line. Gielapin just got a stick in. Kralj fakes the shot, shoots, save. Gielapin protects Craig Kowalski. Ten seconds to go till Corey Nielsen comes out of jail. We've checked the tape and absolutely, categorically, without a shadow of a doubt, it should be 6-0 because Corey Nielsen was the first person to touch the puck that the linesman anticipated was going to be an icing whistle. Coventry on the power play for another five seconds. McLean, can he make something happen? And the Panthers are back to full strength. Backhand shot, Kowalski can't corral it. Oh, Jordan Fox for once doesn't get it. McLean picks his spot, which happened not to be on target. And Brock Wilson fires it through legs. And only then, because Cowley could have got to it, does the linesman, Scott Dalgleish, wave it off. But it went through the Coventry player's legs, so it couldn't have been icy. Nielsen stays on the ice after coming out of jail. Sammy Reenan at the second attempt gets it down the left wing, but Owen sends it back. Marcus Maynard getting ice time, as I said. On for a second shift, gets it across to Nielsen, forward to Rhiannon, gets Panthers in on side, uses the boards. Fussy plays it back to D, diagonal pass out to Kralj. Gets the pass forward to Nylander. Nylander gives it to the guy at point, two guys, back door, shot from the short side. Big dive from Nylander, big dive and the referee's gone for it. Nylander gives it back to Soderstrom, can't keep it in the zone. Whistle won't go till the uh, Panthers play it. Sami Reinen levels Nylander, Finland on Sweden. Fans are really agitated about the way these calls are going. This is the first thing Coventry have done right all game. They've kept possession because Panthers are on a delayed call. That Nylander just fanned on that. He's going to get better as he gets fitter. Panthers play it. Jordan Fox says, are you going to blow your whistle? Trippin's the call. Panthers home anti-box sponsors are solutions for accounting. Weird, weird way he's calling this one. 44-4, 59 gone. Marcus Maynard, is he serving for the keeper or did Marcus Maynard get two for tripping? Yeah, it's Kowalski got the penalty for protecting his crease. <clears throat> if he tripped the guy in the crease, as the referee just indicated, Steve Wilkinson, doesn't that mean the guy went into the crease? Because the puck wasn't there, so he didn't follow the puck in. So that means the guy had gone into the crease, which normally results in a whistle, and the play comes out of the zone, which means he must have gone into the crease before he was tripped by the keeper, which means it shouldn't be a penalty. I don't, I, unless I'm being stupid. You know, when things don't add up, Call Ian and the boys at Solutions for Accounting because I can't work that one out. So, thinking it was Marcus Maynard's penalty, oh, Paul Thompson's flapping his arms at his own team's power play. Like I said, he is on record as saying he spends 80% of his time practicing the power play. All right, we've got them again tomorrow, so we won't tempt fate. I wonder how many minutes we've been on penalty kill tonight. It's going to be a few. Off the boards, awful setup by Coventry. Dustin Wood. I nearly called him Dustin G then. The late comedian, Rhett Gordon. Has it, Stevie Lee's joining in. Backhand from Rhett Gordon, clever play, gets it in. Stevie Lee stretches, corrals it, then loses out. Then comes round a player and nearly gets to it ahead of Farmer. McLean takes it in for Coventry. Coventry trying to mount an attack. Interception by Brock Wilson. Gets a piece of his man. Puck goes behind the net. Guthrie has it for Coventry. Brock Wilson making a nuisance of himself. But Guthrie gets it to McLean. McLean gets it to Weaver. Weaver gives it back to McLean. Shot, pad save, rebound. Kowalski covers up. Park sits down. 
falls over, call it what you will. 32 seconds to go. Time to check out the noise levels inside the Capital FM Arena. Is there any noise for the Blaze? And let's have a run if you are here. Ken Fees, the announcer, asked for noise for the Blaze. And a few of them waved. That was it. Coventry have 23 seconds of power play, 23 seconds of mad advantage. The fans getting going behind the Panthers. Nylander is moaning about a slash. He's fed up. His stick got broken and then he made a mess of trying to stop Corey Nielsen. And finally, the referee can see blue. And Nylander gets to sit down. So he's going to be on the score sheet. 11 seconds of four on four, and then powers to the power play. I think Nottingham have got two power play goals so far tonight. I wonder if the bosses of Coventry are here tonight. They normally come. Panthers 2, the power play. Marcus Maynard finishes the two minutes for Kowalski. Jordan Fox was offside there. I, was, I didn't finish it, did I? I was saying, Marcus Maynard, thinking it was a penalty against Marcus Maynard, he ended up serving the two minutes for Kowalski. Maybe it has to be somebody off the ice if Kowalski takes a penalty when I think about it. So that would make sense, Marcus. If it doesn't have to be somebody off the ice, it would have been better to get your, your bow regards and what have you into jail so that when they jump out of jail, they can get their legs going and get down the ice. Steve Lee took a little bit too long with his pass and has to hustle and bustle to try and get it back. Does enough to slow Farmer down and Jordan Fox brings it forward. Nice pass into the skates. Clark digs it out. Beauregard. Thought he was going to come on behind the play. He's first man at the gate. Benedict can't get it in at the second attempt even. Jordan Fox gets it across to Steve Lee. Jordan Fox gets it across. Hirsch's got it just, just. And Beauregard finally gets through the team gate and onto the ice. <laughs> 62 seconds of Panthers power play to go. 12.13 to go on the game, sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Panthers leading by five goals to nil, but as I said, it should be six. We won't quibble, but Corey Nielsen's been Diddled out of a goal. Panthers get it back to Corey Nielsen. Gives it across. Francis back door. Sammy Renan kicks it out of his feet, then hits the side netting with his shot. Francis stretches, gets it round the back. Renan gives it to Myers. Myers uses the boards, gets it to Francis. Francis backhands it across to Nielsen. Nielsen has a look. Is there a route to goal? No. Gives it to Renan. Renan to the side of the net. Beauregard tries to walk out front, backhands it. Half intercepted, but Myers gets it and gives it back to Beauregard. Beauregard has a look, gives it to Myers, has to stop it in his feet. Back door. Francis hits the bar in an effort to try and get his hat trick. Panthers keep it in, Rian and stretches. Panthers keeping the pressure on. Matthew Myers in a tussle of strength. Fed to the front, Rian and steals it, shoots over the bar. Please keep your eye on the front at all times with Belchimedia.com Matthew Myers was making such a nuisance of himself and Corey Nielsen bangs the ice with his stick in frustration that the power play did everything but convert. Twelve seconds of power play to go. Watch the box, boys, although it is Nylander. I don't think he's going to go on a big one-on-one -on -one rush down the ice. Panthers keep it in at the blue line. Gordon keeps it in. Blaze bang it down the ice. They get the man back now. When it crossed halfway, they were still short-handed. So it isn't icing. Steve Lee backhands it around. It's picked off by McLean. Oh, no, it isn't. He misses it. 
Nice trick. Brett Gordon gets it down the ice. That's not holding by Nylander, is it? No. Well, he's had more ice time as the game's gone on. Oh, Bobby Lakovic took it. First touch was okay, not perfect, and then he couldn't pull the trigger. Here's Guthrie for Coventry. Mark Levers gets a piece of it and then gets help from Lakovic, who sends it round the boards to Rhett Gordon. Sends a pass right onto the tape for Lakovic. I think the fans are appreciative of Rhett Gordon so far. Dustin Wood has another go at the British youngster. He's lost his stick on the plate. Club save by Kowalski to deny Kralj. Ten minutes and 11 seconds to go and K-Wall holds the lobster pot out and linesman Gordon Perry says, fancy the puck being in there. How did it get there? Right in front, Kowalski makes the save on Griffin. He's only 18. Played at Swindon last year, Griffin. Must have been on a two-way deal with the Swindon Wildcats, so he must have played with uh, Sam Bullis from Nottingham. Although Sam Bullis, he wouldn't have played much with Sam Bullis last year because Sam did something like break his ankle on his first game. When he came back, broke his other ankle, and when he came back, broke his wrist or something. A dreadful year for injuries last year, Sam Bullis. Sammy Reen makes a nuisance of himself on Griffin. So. For a youngster, although he's only 18, he's had EPL experience, so you can understand why he's tried to get in and why he tried to stick handle out of the uh, zone. David Clark, that's offside, so Coventry have to come forward. All the pass from Sammy Reen, who was just out of reach for Matt Francis as he seeks to see some hats thrown on the ice for getting three goals on the hat trick. Justin Wood can't win it. Oh, and. Francis found a way to the back door, but it had air under it, so David Clark couldn't get to it. He stick handled his way to control, though. Gives it to Marcus Maynard. Marcus Maynard across to Corey Nielsen. And we've got nine miles to go. Nine minutes and nine seconds, to be precise. Corey Nielsen, fake to go one way. He's trying to make Coventry come up the ice. Panthers are just playing keep puck, but that loses out. Corey Nielsen goes up. It was a late hit, unnecessary in a 5-0 game. Just a late hit, unnecessary. He's bound to call. Stevie made the wrong choice. Cowley inside. Fox intercepts. Park chickened out of the hit, turned his back on it, and got a bit of a hit himself. Ricochets off, Brock Wilson skates. The Panthers were technically offside. They've regrouped, they've come out. Brock Wilson has a sit down. Panthers poke check it forward. Matthew Myers to Benedict. Ted gives it back to Matthew. Matthew tries to find his way to the front. Wood hooks him down, pulls his stick out of his hands. Referee watches it and says, no, he's a little bit one-sided, I think. A little bit, little bit of biased, you might call it. A little bit pitiful. In both senses of the word. Showing pity and being pitiful. Do you see what I'm saying there, Steve? Would you disagree with me? No, he would agree with me. 
He is very much calling the scoreboard, isn't he? Oh, Mark Levers misses out on the hip check. Fussy gets it to the back door. Nylander doesn't do anything with it. Up off the glass, it hits the net in. The plays have it, so the play carries on. Hits the post. Kowalski lets it go on purpose. He had it covered. Panthers send it straight down the other end. Sammy Rienen joined in the calls there, calling for a high stick, and it was given. Seven eleven to go. Panthers lead by five goals to nil. And the fans in the box next to me have been chanting, can we play you every week? I'd get bored with this, Steve. I really would. I mean, I've just used the word pitiful, and I'm sorry, but for a Coventry Blaze side, this is pitiful. As are some of their arguments on the politics side of the sport at the moment. Marcus Maynard forces Owen White, backhands it across through the danger area, through the blue paint. Interference against Nottingham. Corey Nielsen gets a penalty again. Over £900 on the 50-50, so that's going to be worth someone having. And just checking our last. Have we got that? Cameraman Steve didn't have any money. So Audrey bought his tickets tonight for the 50-50. If he's got 02026, he didn't, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Steve Lee off the boards. Matt Francis lets it run through. David Clark spins and turns, sends it down the ice. That's 25 seconds of the kill gone. Six and a half minutes to go on the game. It's up in the air, could go anywhere. Bounces around, Levers gets to it first. Good hand-eye coordination. Nylander. Oh, kind of gets it across to McLean. McLean gets it back. A little give and go with Weaver. A bit of a hit from Guy. Guy backs off. Right across to Nylander. Panthers halfway through the kill. Man in the crease. Yeah, OK. So he, he knows the rule. He's an ex-goalie. So if the man's gone in the crease... Now, if Kowalski had then ripped his legs out, would it have been a penalty? Solutions for accounting. Any noise for the GMB Nottingham Panthers! Wood for the Coventry Blaze, 34 seconds of power play to come. Finally, some urgency about the Coventry Blaze. They got the legs going, they got into the zone. Farmer gives it to Wood, Wood, bouncing bomb. Guthrie didn't get it in time. To be fair to the, the kid, it didn't come to him quickly. And Kowalski was scrambling, but Panthers looking to protect the you-know-what now. Tipped by uh, Lakovitz. And Wood has to come out. Five seconds until Corey Nielsen gets off the naughty step. They're offside there. And the Panthers Behind the net. Levers step. gets something on it. Corey Nielsen joins the play and gets the puck. Sends it down the ice. Hand pass from Wood. Panthers get fresh legs on. Corey Nielsen will stay on on defence. 4.47 to go, sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Please keep your eye on the puck at all times with Vouchermania.com at System B. Well, Nylander's pretty clever. You can see some astute aspects to his game, like on the face-offs and what have you.
as I said, the fans had their entertainment in the first two periods. Panthers saving something in the locking out for tomorrow night when we go to Coventry. And they will help Craig Kowalski to a you-know-what. Brett Gordon's name bar and number looks very bright, doesn't it? I thought that when I got it out of the envelope when it arrived at the house this morning. I think his 12 is bigger than the 8 and the, the other numbers. He's Red Gordon. Oh, saved by the keeper. He's sucking oxygen, but he will be in the third period of his first game, won't he? And they're getting a bit of a wave going. The fans have had a good night. The Coventry fans nearly joining. Waves going round and round the building now. Steve's trying to keep up with it. Is it going too quick for you, Steve? <laughs> Panthers get it back. Marcus Maynard oh, took too long over the shot. Batted in with a hand by Corey Nielsen. He's done two, three circuits now. Blaze fans only joined, only half joined in the first time, and they're not joining in at all now. Comfrey got it behind. Matthew Myers still hustling and bustling, stretching, trying to win it. Marcus Maynard gets a piece of it. Park spins and turns away from him, though, gets it out front. Griffin shoots, blocked. And the goal's gone in. It looped up in the air. Marcus Maynard couldn't get to it. Kowalski couldn't get to it. And at 56-19, the shutout's gone. We can finally say what the you-know-what is. A looping shot up in the air. I'd still give him man of the match. Crads to take the face off. And the Coventry Blaze fans try to get away, going to the Nottingham fans, ignore them. And everyone sits down just to pay them back for spoiling the Mexican way from a few minutes ago. James Griffin got the credit for the goal and Kay Wall goes for a rest and applauds the fans. It was a freaky fluky goal and it allows Nottingham to give Dan Green the last three minutes and 41 seconds of the game. Guthrie and Park got assists on that. Kowalski goes to take some of the protective armour off. As all goalies will when they get pulled. He got pulled in a game up north didn't he, in Scotland and some fans were saying oh he's thrown a hissy fit and he's... Uh, Legged it. We'll never see him again. You know. I told him about it and he went, you what? <laughs> so we had a running gag for the next few days at training. He said, I'm still here. I'm going tomorrow. I just couldn't get a flight. Panthers still outnumbering the blaze, still winning the battle, still winning the foot races. And that pass was right on and Sammy Reen and fires it round the boards. Francis is going to get a cross-checking penalty on Nylander. He's got one on him tonight, hasn't he, Murray Hansen? Three or five to go and he's giving them another power play. I'm on three. I'm trying to. I'm trying to count up the uh, penalty kills. Not in bad. We're up to three. Here we go. Short-handed. Jordan Fox gets it across, and David Alexander Beauregard buries the last goal of the night. Surely, short-handed, beautiful goal. Beauregard with it. 
I'm going to ask Solutions for Accounting to add up how many penalty kills there's been. What a super breakout by the GMB Panthers. And look at the face on Paul Thompson. Oh my goodness. I bet they don't practice that on the power play in uh, Coventry. I bet they don't film that for Sky Television. Oh, you're so good at training, Paul. <laughs> My mate, Tomo. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that tonight Panthers have moved past 900, but according to the uh, Elite League stat sheet that came out last week, we needed four last weekend and we got more than four. And then suddenly this week, we still needed one to get to 900. Look at that foot race there, with just over two minutes to go. Benedict against Guthrie, one with some pride to try and get back. One with the game wrapped up. And it was the one wearing the white shirt of the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Hooking's the call when it was a slash to knock the stick out of his hands. And the guys at the penalty bench finally get the uh, courage to play we're going to win. 1.57 to go in a 6-1 scoreline. And the one was a fluke. Coventry give the puck away. It's Farmer sitting down for hooking. Steve Leake takes his man to the boards. Brock Wilson gets sticked in the mouth. So it'll be a high stick call. I mean, and Thompson st doesn't like young Brandon Stones much, does he? I mean, the game's gone, he hasn't. Is Hirsch getting off now? No, he's just bringing his water bottle. I mean, they had a game up north with Hirsch injured. Did backup Brandon Stones get the game? No, they called the kid they used to have in Swindon up to play it. He's another lad from Nottingham, you know, that Brandon Stones. His dad used to be one of the junior coaches here and he's now one of the junior coaches, allegedly, in Coventry. Panthers, four on three power play, high stick against Cowley, purely accidental. Jordan Fox off the side netting, the shot from David Clark. 66 seconds to go. Francis comes on. Oh, the hard pass from Clark was just too hard for Jordan Fox. Weaver kicks it away, but only as far as Francis. Francis has a look, gives it to Nielsen. 7-1's got a better ring to it than 6-1. Oh, the tip need was needed just to stop it getting through to Francis. Clark circles with it, carries it back in, has a look, sidesteps one, gives it across. Nielsen, can he pull the trigger? Gives it to Clark, Clark blast! Ricochets around, could have gone anywhere. Still time for another kick of the cat. Clark gives it to Nielsen. Back to Clark, big blast, pad save. Shooting practice time, shooting practice. Clark gives it to the side of the net, bounces over uh, Francis' stick. Second attempt, gets it across the back to Fox. Out front to Nielsen. Clark with a big blast, ricochets, hits the glass. Last seven seconds. This one's in the history books. Panthers are just toying with it. They've never blown the whistle, they've let the hooter go. That's it, game over. Great job by the GMB Nottingham Panthers. 2-0, 3-0, 1-1. The one was a fluke, but it's been a party night in Nottingham. Payback time. Panthers get the monkey off their backs. They've beaten the Coventry Blaze by six goals to one in a match sponsored by Solutions for Accounting. Steve will keep the camera rolling. My thanks to him as ever on the camera lens. For the match presentations, uh, our guest tonight in the second period was Mick Newell from Nottinghamshire County Cricket Club. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one, especially those spanks that were handed out.
This is Gary Manstein. Thanks for watching, folks. Final score: GMB Panthers six, Coventry Blaze one. Now time to put your hands together for tonight's visitors, the Coventry Blaze, as they leave the ice. And to your supporters, thank you for coming. See you again soon. And the tonight's time of the match for the GMB Panthers, number 33, Craig Kimball. And now, ladies and gentlemen, centre ice, please put your hands together and make some noise for the Chilean Bees! 